What's up, everybody? I'm the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and last time on History of Goju Ryu, I promised you that we'd be making a tropical journey and covering one of Miyagi's lesser-known travels. Some people think that Peter Urban was the first person to bring karate to America. Others consider Robert Trias to be the first karateka to have taught in the U.S. And if you're willing to count the various styles of Kenpo, there are about a thousand different names that you could bring up as being the first teacher. But Miyagi Chojun was actually the first karateka to introduce karate to the U.S., kind of, when he traveled to Hawaii in 1934, spending eight months promoting the martial art in the future 50th state of America. This trip, undertaken at the request of a Japanese-language newspaper in Hawaii, is the only time that I can find where a founder of a karate style traveled to the West and would introduce Hawaii to Okinawan martial arts, as well as introduce an important strength training tool into Goju-ryu. Let's get into it. First off, it's important to understand that Hawaii and Okinawa had been connected for quite some time before Miyagi embarked on this trip. Located on opposite sides of the Pacific Ocean, these two island chains experienced a fair amount of travel between them. In the early 1900s, a significant population of Okinawans, including relatives of the Izumikawa family that would become incredibly significant in Higa Seiko's later life and teaching, as well as the Kinjo family, who we'll run into a little bit later in this story, had moved to Hawaii and established a community. Both Japanese expats and specifically Okinawan expats made up a sizable group of the island's population, and their descendants make up an ethnic group that accounts for 3% of the modern population of Hawaii. This population largely emigrated from Okinawa as a result of its integration into Japan, which lessened their economic prospects and subjected their culture and their language to discrimination. By the 1920s and 30s, Immigration from Okinawa had largely slowed as a result of the Asian Exclusion Acts, but there was already a large enough population for Japanese and Okinawan language newspapers to have a wide circulation across the islands. One of these newspapers, the Yoen Jihousha, and its chief editor, Kinjo Chine, would offer to sponsor Miyagi Chojun on a cultural exchange trip to teach and lecture about Goju Ryu. Kinjo had briefly trained with Miyagi in his youth before moving with his family to Hawaii, and his family had even come from the same area of Naha as Miyagi, perhaps even studying some with Higaona Kanryo sensei. Miyagi was already beginning to think of the future of his style when Kinjo invited him to visit Hawaii, having just registered his style's name with the Butoku Kai, and having begun to write the Karate Do Gaisetsu. He would embark for this trip in April of 1934, arriving in late May on the island of Oahu. Kinjo and several others held a party for Miyagi on May 10th, before beginning to sponsor his first few demonstrations that weekend at the Young Men's Buddhist Association and the Japanese Social Club. Reportedly, the first of these demonstrations had over 200 attendees who were all very impressed with his presentation. Miyagi spent 11 days on Oahu before traveling around Kaui, giving private lessons and demonstrations, for around a month. He returned to Oahu no later than July 29th, where a gathering was held for him, providing us with the only known surviving photo of Miyagi on this trip. There he is! Right there! In all, this trip lasted for about eight months, and Miyagi would return to Okinawa in early 1935, from where he would go to the Ritsumeikan University to visit Yogi Jitsue and Yamaguchi Jitsumi, and then later to Shanghai, as I mentioned in the previous video in this series. As far as I'm aware, this trip was the longest consecutive time that Miyagi spent outside of Okinawa, except for his mandatory military service in his youth. This trip doesn't seem to have been the origin of any large karate organizations in Hawaii, and as far as I can tell, Kinjo Chine wasn't able to continue to promote Goju Ryu very much before being arrested in 1942, shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor, for suspected communist activity and being placed in internment. And although the Izumikawa family had members who were present on Hawaii during that time, I can't find any evidence that any of them encountered Miyagi, although Izumikawa Kanki helped to teach with Higaseko in Saipan not two years later. But there is one more lasting legacy that this trip left on Goju Ryu and on karate in general, even if Goju's prominence in Hawaii was to be undercut by Kempo by the time the 50th state achieved statehood. While Miyagi was giving lectures and demonstrations on Hawaii, he seemed to also have had the opportunity to view the local fighting traditions and training. Some wrestlers on Hawaii utilized a training implement consisting of an iron ring, which was used to develop strength and comfortability manipulating the human body for throws and grapples. This implement piqued Miyagi's interest, and he studied it, eventually bringing back a modified version known as the Kongo Ken, karate's very own style of grappling dummy. And last but not least, I stumbled on something while researching this video that piqued my personal interest. 
You see, there's a persistent rumor that showed up in several articles that states that during this trip, some film was taken of Miyagi Chojun Sensei. If this is true, that film would probably be the only video record of Miyagi's training and an invaluable potential look into his methods. Unfortunately, if this video does exist, and if it wasn't destroyed during the war, no one has been able to locate it, nor has anyone found a promising lead towards locating it. I suppose that if anyone watching happens to have this video or know someone who does, let me know, but barring that, it seems like this video is sadly lost to time. So that's the story of Miyagi's trip to Hawaii, one of the least covered but surprisingly most interesting chapters of his life. Thank you so much for watching this episode of History of goju -Ryu. If you liked this video, you know what to do. This probably isn't your first day on YouTube. Uh, for comments this go-around, I'd like to hear who you'd invite to teach karate at your city or at your dojo if you could choose anyone from all of history. Personally, I'd lean towards picking the subject of the next video in this series, the no-longer-so-secret kung fu influence on Miyagi, Gokenki. If you want to see that video when it comes out, and I guess other videos that I make, then this is a channel that you can subscribe to, and even turn on notifications for you, which will tell you about three hours after I post videos, apparently. <laughs> Until then, I've been the Gojuri Philosopher, and aloha. Because it means both hello and goodbye. I visited Hawaii too once. Uh, it's been a while, and I don't remember much of it. But I went surfing, and if I remember to in editing, I will find a picture of myself at the age of, like, 13 surfing in Hawaii, and I will post it here to embarrass myself and make you all laugh at me. <laughs>